face, huh? Huh? My son's still on my face. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's good. Maganda umaga po, Peace and I on 2022. I Good morning, everyone. My name is Rizal Verder Liga. You may know me as Mr. Rizzy Stay Dizzy. I'm one of your co MCs for today's Peace and I We appreciate everyone pulling up today. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to show it off to my co host. Give it up for Jenny Mojica. Good morning and welcome again. We are super excited to have you here for a successful event. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, we'll have the national anthem sung by Carlin Ocampo. Carlin Ocampo, are you here? Right here, my bad. Let's give it up for Carlin Ocampo. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air yeah. Stay standing for the Filipino national anthem. By young Magili, perlas ng silanganan, alab ng puso sa dibdib mo'y buhay, lupang hinirang duyan ka ng magiting sa manlulupit. Di ka pa sisiil sa dagant at bundok Sa simoy at sa langit mong bughaw May dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng watlaw at buhay tagumpay na nagniningning Ang bituin at araw na kailan pa may magdidilim Lupa ng araw ng luar hatit pagsinta Buhay ay langit sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pag may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo All right, give it up one more time for Carlin Ocampo, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, took the mic off. Love to bring up Mel or Pilia to come up and speak, please. Right here. <laughs> 
Good morning, everyone. It's a glorious morning, and I just wanted to give a little bit of historical context of why we are on Mero Island today. So the month of June in Vallejo we celebrate as Philippine Cultural Month because June 12, 1898 was when Philippine independence was declared by Emilio Aguinaldo, the leader of the Filipino rebels. But he declared that because the United States defeated the Spanish in the Battle of Manila Bay on May 1st, 1898. And those naval ships that went to the Battle of Manila Bay left from, turn around, right there. Right here, right where we're standing. Because those ships were steam powered ships. They were, those engines were powered by coal. These are the coal sheds where the coal was stored before they put them on the ships. So without Mare Island's support and the ships coming from Mare Island, we probably would not be here today celebrating Philippine independence. Also at the turn of the century, the U.S. Navy started hiring Filipinos to work here at Mare Island. My father and my uncle started working here in 1932. Mare Island provided um, lots of jobs, good paying jobs for the Filipinos, so they settled in Vallejo because they had the economic means to do so. And then with the subsequent wars, the Korean War, World War II, Vietnam War, more naval personnel and military personnel settled in Vallejo because of Mare Island. So we celebrate Philippine independence because this is where it all began right here right where you're standing right here on mare island no other no other city in the whole country can claim that direct connection to our history except right here in vallejo right here on mare island right here today so thank you for being here that little history lesson dropped by nino mel give it up for nino mel one more time We'll now be hearing from some officials. We'll have Philippine Vice Consul General Adrian Bakay. Thank you very much. I apologize. I'm not wearing my barong today. I've been attending five straight Independence Day events wearing my barongs. So I have to wear my Philippine shirt from the Philippines. So Vallejo May Mayor Robert McConnell, um, American Canyon Mayor Leon Garcia, Phil Am, Vallejo Vice Mayor Rosana Verde Aliga, and Colonel Nestor Aligo, whom I've met uh, a while ago, members of the Vallejo City Council and other government officials present, members of the Philippine Cultural Committee, other members of the Philippine American community in Vallejo and Solano County, other distinguished guests, mga kababayan, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Good morning. On behalf of Philippine Consul General Neil Ferrer and the Philippine Consulate General in San Francisco, I wish to express my deepest appreciation to the Philippine Cultural Committee and to the city of Vallejo for hosting this year's Pista Sanayon in celebration of the 124th anniversary of the Proclamation of Philippine Independence. It was 124 years ago on June 12, 1898, when Filipino revolutionaries led by General Emilio Aguinaldo declared the independence of the Philippines from the Spanish crown. Short, this independence may have lasted following the colonization of the United States of the Philippines. Filipinos continue to honor the 12th of June as the day when their ancestors exercised for the first time their right to self-determination, liberty, and freedom after centuries of colonial rule. This year's Philippine Independence Day celebration carries the theme, Kalayan 2022, Pagsuong sa Hamon ng Panibagong Bukas, or Rise Towards the Challenge of a New Beginning. Indeed, the world has seen the remarkable resilience of the Filipino people as they lead the way out of a global pandemic. Two years since the outbreak. Okay. Two years since the first outbreak of COVID-19 in the country, the Philippines has become the fastest growing economy in the Asia Pacific region in the first quarter of 2022 driven by the return to pre-pandemic mobility and domestic consumer confidence. Okay. Since February 
2022, the Philippines has reopened to international tourism, welcoming back Filipino balikbayans and fully vaccinated foreign nationals to our 7,641 beautiful islands. I'm joined this morning by our Philippine Tourism Attaché in San Francisco, Soleil Tropicalis. Peace wave, Soleil. So, if, please feel free to approach her if you have questions on how to travel to the Philippines. Through scientific breakthroughs against emerging infectious diseases, the unshakable resolve of our medical frontliners to save lives, and the collective action for communities, or balikbayan as Filipinos would call it, there can be no doubt that together we will rise equal to the challenge of a new beginning. I wish to express my gratitude to the city of Vallejo for its continued recognition of the significant contributions of the Filipino-American community through initiatives such as today's event. I look forward to the revitalization of our economic, cultural, and people-to-people -people ties between our two countries through the Vallejo Baguio sister city. Thank you for your kind attention. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas at mabuhay ang lungsod ng Vallejo. All right. At this time, we'd like to bring up California Assemblywoman Lori Wilson, our newly elected congratulations, followed by Aaron Hannigan. Well, good morning, everyone. It is good to see all of your beautiful faces, and I'd like to say happy Philippine Independence Day. It is a pleasure for me to be here on behalf of the California Assembly. This is a district I don't yet represent, but come December, I will. And I'm excited about all the great things happening in this city and the contributions that the Filipino American community has made, not only to the culture of this community, but as it was stated earlier, by our historian Mel, the history, the vibrant history that this community has made in the um, in the country of the Philippines. And so I just wanna say thank you so much for letting me be a part and celebrate with you today. And I hope you have a great time. I'm gonna get off because I know this mic is sensitive to the heat just as you are. And so thank you so much for letting me be a part and thank you for all the ways you contribute to making our community a better place. Thank you. Up next, the person who appointed me to the GVRD board, Solano County Supervisor Aaron Hennigan. Well, what a wonderful day to celebrate Peace to San Leon, and certainly with the theme of where it all began here in our very own city, the city of Vallejo. I want to thank the community for all of your contributions to our city and our county and our great state and nation. Uh, all throughout education, politics, um, social events, you are present, you are at the table, and I really appreciate hearing your voice and learning about your culture. I want to thank Mel Arpia for really driving it down as to why this is the place we are celebrating Peace to San Juan here today in the city of Vallejo. So thank you, Mel. Really appreciate that. Um, I want to thank all the vendors for being here. Parents, thank you for bringing your kids. Thank you for sharing the culture with your children. It's very important. This is a wonderful event, and how great that we do we get to do it again in person. Mabuhay. Thank you, Supervisor Hannigan. Up next, make some noise for Vallejo Mayor Robert McConnell. All right, great intro, and thank you indeed for being here in this lovely city of Vallejo, because you are what makes this city the very city it is. And in listening to all of the speakers here today, it was very rewarding and informative to hear of some of the very close connections between this city and many locations of the Philippines and the people of the Philippines. And of course, you will continue making that history today because this is what we are performing today. It's the first time they've been on Mare Island. You're part of that history. So congratulations and thank you for being here. Enjoy the city. Good day. Thank you, Mayor McConnell. Up next, we have American Canyon Mayor Leon Garcia.
the Gang Ramaga Four. Good to be here today. And I uh, really appreciate the invitation. Uh, I couldn't have reiterate some of the comments already made, but it's common values we all hold. The Filipino contribution to the culture of this community. You know, the leadership that it has uh, gendered, the engagement of the community, the economic base of the community. Powerful segments for American Canada. You know, uh, we are your neighbors, and we cross back and forth a lot. Uh, I've often said the only thing that separates American Canyon and Vallejo is the backyard fence. <laughs> so it's not quite that common. Uh, my wife, sorry she couldn't be here uh, today. She has a real estate uh, client, but she's from uh, Castellejos, uh, San Valles. So she uh, has informed me. Of, I've learned a lot of the culture from her. You know, it's uh, amazing the contribution. And I think for me, the sentiment going forward is to always embed that culture in the younger people, the cult, the families, the children, so they know their roots. That's very important, because they're gonna carry that forward to the next generation. So I thank you for what you're doing with that. The contributions of the Filipino community are enormous. I worked in the health industry for 35 years. So many nurses, healthcare providers are from the Philippines. If you're a nurse or healthcare provider, raise your hand. Let's see. Bravo, thank you. Thank you for the work you do. You have made, saved many lives and contributed vastly to the quality of life for our elders and those in need. And I'm very proud to be here today. But I'm in Thank you, Mayor Garcia. Up next, we have my mother, Vice Mayor Rosanna Verder Aliga. Maraming salamat, Rez, my youngest son. Um, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. On behalf of the Philippine Cultural Committee, welcome to today's Vista Sanayon Celebration 2022. And I uh, just would like to um, read a portion of the proclamation that the city of Vallejo did for this year, for 2022, declaring June 2022 as Philippine Cultural Month. And this will mention why we, as a community here in Vallejo, have to be proud because we have a very long history in this community. And just to make a quick mention, the grandfather of my husband, Nasser Aliga, his grandfather worked at Mare Island for 30 years. And the Aliga family is one of the Filipino pioneers here in Vallejo. So I just wanted to give a shout out to the Aliga family in Vallejo. And we're very actively engaged in this community. So I'm very, very proud of that legacy. And let me just read this. Vallejo has 24,500 Filipino residents. So aren't you proud of that? Yes. We are 11% of the total population of Solano County. That's 45,000 Filipino Americans living in Solano County. Okay. And whereas Filipino Americans have greatly contributed to Vallejo's social, religious, and economic well-being, as well as to the political landscape, with the election of the first Filipino American to the City Council, Larry Acera, Chris Villanueva to the City Council in 1989, Carmi Sunga to the City Council in, 19, in 2005, Pete Bray was also a council member, Jess Malgapo, and the first Filipino-American mayor of Vallejo is Bob Sampayan. You all know Bob Sampayan, former mayor. And yours truly, Rosanna Verderoliga. And also we elected O.G. Villanueva, Tony Obalde, who was a current school board member, and Rascal Kayanyang were also elected to the Board of Education, Vallejo School District. So we are very, very proud of that legacy and our contributions to this community. And again, thanks to all, to the youth, Filipino-American youth who were actually a big part of this um, coordination and celebration. Maraming salamat to our Filipino youth. So maraming salamat. Enjoy the rest of the day and mabuhay kayong lahat. Salamat po. Thank you, Vice Mayor Rosanna Verdera Liga. So one of the things we want to shout out is also a big, huge uh, high five and a hug to our sponsors. 
So, you know, these events came together very, very quickly. And uh, here we are making it happen. And we want to shout out some of those sponsors. So the Southern Land Company, thank you so much. Kaiser, MCE, Recology. Um, and, and there's more that we'll also bring up to share some words. At this time, I want to invite up our um, V-Town Farms sponsor, Chuck Wesley. Please come on up. Happy Independence Day. My name is Chuck Wesley, and my sons and I are the owners of V-Town Farms. Let me begin by giving a uh, thank, quick thank you to Garrett Tolls for arranging our sponsorship. Very much appreciated. Secondly, I want to say that we recognize and appreciate that for the past 76 years, the Filipino community of Solano County has been providing charitable and humanitarian works for the residents of Vallejo. We greatly appreciate that, and we want to support the continuation of those works with our donation of $10,000 to the Philippines. from Kaiser Permanente, Dr. Scarlett McClure. Picture. What, what about our uh, GBI 
And our DBRD commissioner on the board, my co-host Riz Aliga. <laughs> All right, group together for a picture, y'all. Shout out to the martial arts tournament. Good luck today. Sorry, this is like it's like a remix. <laughs> I'm mixing up here.
So thank you so much for having us. If you have any friends and relatives or Kababayan in Maribor, Slovenia, we will be there June 28th to July 2nd, uh, representing Philippines at the International Festival. So please invite them to come see us in Maribor, Slovenia. We leave this Friday. Thank you. Shout out to Visit Vallejo. I see you, Mike, back there. 
MCE, the Vulture Media, Garatolls. Who else we got, Jen? We got the Robbie Pobletti Foundation, MCE, RBF. Recology, Pacific Vibes, Oscat Radio, who announces our stuff every Friday and allows us to come to their house and, and promote our events. Shout out to them. Yes, yes. Shout out to y'all. Y'all are our sponsors, man, for being out here. This event would not be possible without you. Your presence, your participation here in the crowd, sipping on some drink, that drink that be water specifically, so. All right, I told we were supposed to just uh, use some time for the next 15 minutes. We're trying to do this thing where we don't speak longer for two minutes, because I know y'all want to hear us talking, but. If y'all don't know me, I'm Resolve Ritter Oliga. Some of you may know me as Mr. Rizzy Stay Dizzy. I may have taught your student at Jesse Bethel, so shout out to them. I was also at Pista every year since it's been going. It's a huge cultural festival. I used to be at Pista when Tumblr was a thing, so shout out to Tumblr. And shout out to everyone for being here. To my right, can y'all make some noise for my co-host, the one that put this all together pretty much, Jenny Mojica. has had Vallejo Pista Sanayan, and our elders have been continuing to give us wisdom and guidance. And what's really important and unique this year is that all these generations came together to make these events happen. When you turn the corner, you see an auntie. You turn the corner, you see a young one. And that's how it should be. We want to continue to bring all these generations together and make positive things happen in Vallejo. If you're with me, say heck yes. yes. That's right. Y'all ready for the next day? And my co-host Jenny will take it away to introduce the next act. All right, I have the pleasure of introducing our next act. This is Keako O. Polynesia, and the director, Luana Bambao, is going to go ahead and kick this off. Give it up for them one time. Aloha. 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 All right, we got some energy out there. My name is Luana. I'm the director of